welcome back to my youtube channel and as as you know currently we are exploring uh, the python ways to interact with bigquery uh, by checking various scenarios like uh, how to create a table using python uh, in bigquery now in this particular tutorial we are going to see uh, let's say we have a csv file that is uploaded uh, in one of your uh, gcs buckets uh, as as i can show you so in in the bucket section i have this particular bucket that we have created uh, named as gcp dev uh, 409815 in this i have created this folder called as csv underscore data and in this i have uploaded this people hyphen 100 uh, dot csv this is just a sample uh, data uh, data set uh, conveying the basic information about uh, peoples and it has 100 records so i'll just uh, give you a overview of the data so basically if you see this is what those hundred records and this is the people uh, hyphen hundred dot csv file that we have uploaded so it has uh, the first line of this particular file is the header and this is this this is the information that uh, this file talks about some index id user id first name last name gender email phone date of birth and job title so a pretty standard data and what we are going to do in this particular tutorial is uh, as as you know we have already uploaded this csv file into uh, the gcs bucket using a python program uh, using the bq load api approach we are going to load this particular data into a bigquery table okay so without any further delay let's start uh, writing our program so as you know let's start creating a python script called as let's say bq data loader yeah and let's try importing from google dot cloud import bigquery okay now what we need to do is we need to create the bigquery client yeah so create bq client and how it goes is client you just define any object name and bigquery dot client so this is how you create the client now the next step what we need to do is since we wanted to load the bigquery data i mean gcs data into bigquery we have to uh, give the full path uh, of the table in which we want to load the data right so basically let's say we wanted to load the data into this bq gcs underscore loads data set so just take this write it here and just change the name name of the table right so let's make it as peoples okay as the name of the table so how how to read this is this is our project dot this is our data set in which we wanted to create this table and this is the actual table name in which we want to load the data into right then third most important thing is you actually create the schema uh, for writing the data from your gcs to bigquery right so the third step is creating the schema for bq table so let's try writing the schema for it schema is equal to so you generally write the schema in the square bracket so let's first try to read the first line of the file which is nothing but a schema we will just comment it out so that we just can refer it here and here itself so bigquery dot schema field in the bracket you give it the first name i mean the first column name comma the data type of that column okay just copy and paste it give the second as user id let's say we wanted to have it as string paste it third one is first name string fourth one last name it is again a string 
then we have gender gender then we have email again it is going to be a string then we have phone number so phone then what we have is date of birth date of birth cannot be a string so i'm just changing the data type to date yeah after date we have i mean after date of birth we have job title that could be a string so changing the data type of that to string so this is what our schema is gonna look like and we have this particular schema object that we have created okay the reference is done deleting this so this is our final schema that we want our program to create into the bq before we load the data because as as you have already seen we don't have the table created in this data set so wh what our program is gonna do is it is going to first create the table and then load data from that csv uh, this people hundred dot csv into that uh, newly created table now the next step is create job configuration now this is again a very important step uh, from loading the data from a csv into this uh, uh, bigquery table because ultimately what we need to do is we need to create a job right and what that job is going to do is it is going to read the uh, file from the gcs bucket location that we will pass and it will load the data into again the bq table uh, that we will again pass as a parameter to this job configuration uh, which i will show you soon so basically there is a way in which we have to uh, you know give this thing to bigquery and the way bigquery understand is by is by creating a job configuration right so let's try creating a job configuration object job config is equal to bigquery dot here we have this particular method uh, which uh, which allows us to create the load uh, the job configuration basically and the name of that method is load job config and what parameters it takes is it first of all takes the schema right what schema you want this particular table uh, to be created with so schema is equal to we can just uh, pass this particular variable because we have created the schema object or variable which we can assign it to the schema parameter itself you can name this anything bq scheme or anything and then you will be able to pass that particular parameter here okay uh, so this is the first parameter it takes second parameter that it takes is skip leading rows now why we need this is because if you actually see the data file the first line of this particular data file or the csv file is actually not the data it is the header of that file and while loading the data into the table since we have already created the schema for the csv file we don't want to load this particular first line of the file which is a header into the actual table so that's why the second parameter is skip reading rows and you just you know mark it to one because that is the first line so if your header are sitting on line number 10 then you should give value 10 here but you know in an ideal scenario the header will be always sitting on the first line of the line uh, sorry file so it will always be one then the third important parameter is what kind of data format is right so basically for that you have a parameter called as source format and you just name it as bigquery dot source format dot so we have a csv file so that's why the source format will point to csv okay so this is uh, the load configuration that we have passed and this is how it will look like so with this what what bigquery will understand is i need to run a load job uh, where i'll be having this particular schema i'll need to uh, basically skip the first row and the format in which i need to load the data is going to be a csv file 
yeah then the next part is where is your csv data points to so in in the big query or in the gcp world we make it or we call it as uri right uri is nothing but your source and our source is as you know is this gcs file so what we need to do is we need to just take the uri of this particular blob in gcs we call this particular csv file or this object as blob and just assign that the path of your csv file to the uri so this is nothing but a source file path the fully qualified source file path and now the most important step of actually uh, you know running the job or actually uh, loading the job right so here we have created the job configuration here is the uri which is nothing but the source file and if you see this this is the actual load job which we want to execute to make this particular data movement happen right so for that we need to use this client object that we have created bigquery.client and this has one method called as load table from uri uri is nothing but your gcs blob right so we are going to use this particular uh, load table from uh, uri root to load this particular data and what kind of parameters it takes is it takes the first parameter as uri which is your source file path then the table details in which table you want to load the data and the third parameter is what job config you want to use while doing this data load operation so we have defined this job configuration which we are going to pass as a parameter here so this is how you create your load job right and once you create your uh, uh, load job you need to actually trigger it and how to trigger it you just do load job dot result right so this particular line of code is going to trigger this particular job in actual right so this is the job configuration we have created it's like a job specification this is our source here we have created the actual job by passing the job configuration and here is the line which actually is gonna execute all these things to make the data load happen in reality right and once this particular line is executed what we can do is we can just check out whether the data load is successful or not because since it has 100 records if we in return if we get that okay it has loaded 100 records that means our job is successful for example so destination table is equal to client dot get table so get table is again one of the method that uh, the client bigquery client object gives you to check if uh, the table related information now since after this particular line the data would have been loaded into this particular table so this is how we are uh, getting the table details of a destination table and if it says us that there are 100 rows in this particular table that means our job is successful so let's try to print that print and let's say total number of records in table is so here we give this destination table dot there is a method called as num rows which will hit uh, you know which will get the number of counts that are present in that particular table and if this value is matching to 100 that means our data is loaded and we are always gonna see uh, that onto the console as well so just to you know reconfirm you this is our source file in BigQuery, we don't have this people table uh, created as yet, right? And now we are going to execute this particular program. Okay, I have run it. Let's see what output is it gives. So it says total number of records in table is 100, right? So it looks like the job was successful. If I come here, if I refresh this data set, 
then I should have this people's table as you can see here people's table created and this is the schema and if you match this schema with our program this one then all these index integer user ID string first name last name gender email phone date of birth and job title these are the columns that we have given here and if you see the details or if you just preview it then you should be able to see the data that we have in this particular uh, CSV file uh, that is loaded into this table okay so this is how uh, you can create the BigQuery job using Python and the way that we have uh, you know the kind of a mechanism that we have used in our Python program to do this actual load is by creating a job configuration passing it to the actual job and then running that uh, job and actually to load the data okay I hope uh, this gives you a core understanding about how your BQ load job runs uh, obviously using Python but there are more ways to do that like you can do the same thing using Java Ruby C hash and lots of other languages but mainly this is the BQ load approach which internally use the API mechanism to load the data from a GCS bucket file CSV file into the BigQuery table okay so i hope i hope you you understood the core logic of it uh, thanks for watching uh, this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to my channel do like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you